Good morning. We might have a bit of background noise today. My One of my cats is in here and she's very restless. Um, I'm a little less than prepared today for my video. I wasn't able to do a very long meditation um, because I have a course that I'm starting today. So it's... I don't know if you've heard of Lynn McTaggart, but if you haven't, you really should. She wrote years ago a book called The Field, which was groundbreaking. She's a hard-nosed investigative reporter by trade, and she became curious at one point about what was going on with all of these new science experiments that were showing all kinds of crazy... Um, Things, things that seem supernatural and metaphysical and impossible were being proven in reputable and repeatable scientific studies. And she became, she wanted to know what was going on. So she started investigating that and ended up writing a book after much hesitation for what this might do to her reputation as a, um, you know, someone to take seriously, not one of these woo-woo people like yours truly. <laughs> and she wrote the book called The Field, and it was so groundbreaking that now it's being used, I think something like 20 years later, it's being used in universities as a textbook for the new sciences. And from that book, which was brilliant and really worth reading, one of my favorite books of all time. From that book, she started studying the power of intention. That's what really caught her. What is really going on with the power of intention? And what does it mean? Like, what could we actually do with it? So she started experimenting and has been experimenting ever since with um in concert with very reputable sciences scientists cutting edge scientists um, and exploring how it works what works how to fine tune it and um how to get the best results possible and that's what her latest book is about her latest book is called the Pow um the power of 8 sorry requisite daily cat hair and the subtitle is too long for me to remember but what it's basically um, you know to encapsulate it it's sharing with the world what she has found works best for uh, manifesting through the power of intention and and some surprising um outcomes that that have been discovered through this. So she has put together also a course and that's what I'm getting up to do today <laughs> pretty early. Oh this little cat, I don't know what she's into. Um, just a second, hey you, don't claw that. Okay. I, times like this I wish I had Kitty Prozac or something. Um, just kidding, in case you don't know. So, I would also like to tell you, as a background, that um, I went to see her and several other groundbreaking scientists and professionals in a workshop called Science and Spirituality Conference, and it was held in Nanaimo, in BC, Canada, this summer, July, I think it was, June, June, July, the past June or July. Hi, Marita, say hi. Okay. And it was fantastic. There was Lynn McTaggart, Greg Braden, Bruce Lipton, Joe Dispenza, among others, and um, they were 
I mean, I didn't really get to chat with Dr. Joe, but the others were wonderful, lovely people, like just the kind that you would hope your sort of heroes or role models would be when you meet them. And they were fantastic. And it was a seven day, you know, from eight o'clock in the morning to roughly 10, give or take 10 o'clock at night, every day for seven days with 3,000 other light workers in the room. It was fantastic. It was changed. It made great changes in, you know, like I came out of that with my health improved. So it was, it was magical. It was really powerful. It was fantastic. Like one of the best things I've ever done. And anyways, I took uh, in in Lynn's workshops, she did a couple, two or three seminars, and she we did a, a practice power of eight session in each one, and the results were phenomenal. Like we're having people after a ten minute session, put up their hand and say, "I couldn't raise th- my arms before," or. I couldn't hear out of my out of this ear before this or you know people were walking better and and functioning better and their pain was relieved and the woman I was in my group that was we were all intending for this woman she had MS and she had not been been able to sleep at night and she was not able to walk very well and afterwards she was walking much better. She was still using her cane, but she was walking much better. And that night, she said she slept all the way through the night. And the next day, she really didn't even need her cane. She wasn't even using it. So it was fantastic. Like, the results were just amazing. And it was also amazing how it worked for people who were intending for her or for the, the others this is what Lynn McTaggart calls the rebound effect, which is that when we are sending intentions out for someone else, we are receiving the benefits ourselves. For instance, when we went into the uh, Power of Eight for that woman with MS, um, I had gone in, I had been in a very bad physical state (laughs) and very early in my recovery period from my sort of near death, um, not what you call a near death, I, you know, kind of one foot in the grave from uh, six months before that. And I was in pe- pretty bad shape and I had raging pain along my neck and shoulder all day. And 10 minutes later, eight or 10 minutes later, after that practice, it was gone. Like it was completely gone. There was just a a tiny, maybe like 1% left, but it was almost completely erased. It was fabulous. So I got really excited about this process because as you may know, I have been studying magic and energy work and practicing and teaching it for decades. Well, teaching it, yeah, actually that's probably true decade and a half or so for teaching but I've been studying it intensively for you know 30 years or so at this point so when I found that she had a system that was creating miracles for people ordinary people who didn't have a lot of training um, in magic or energy working or anything really maybe although it was a group of pretty um, conscious people Even so, it was really incredible. And so I wanted to experiment and explore that and see how it works and if I can improve on it even more with all of the other cutting-edge manifestation and magic techniques I know as well as from my own experience and, and background and training. And so I've been participating in four Power of Eight groups and for uh, since then and as well as that i took melinda mctaggart's course on power of eight for healers and now i'm doing her year-long power of eight 
Intention Masterclass, which includes another Power of Eight group that I'll be doing weekly for a year. So I'm getting lots of Power of Eights, and my health is improving so rapidly. And my situation at home is really shifting. And I'm sure that this is a, a really key part of what's going on to bring things, to turn things around for me so well. And at this point, I've got, I've been fine tuning with all of these different pieces using, you know, some of Lynn McTaggart's and some of Kyle Cease's and some of, which is very similar to what I was doing before, but um, some of Joe Dispenza's, Greg Braden's, like just bringing in all of this other, the best of everything and putting it together into a format that's going to bring the best possible results. And so that's why I'm doing this course. <laughs> and it's all in a process, really, of furthering this technology that I have had. Um, a, I've, what would you call it, a vision, I guess, of the future on this planet where this is a key technology that people will be using to do anything that needs to be done to heal the planet, to heal each other, to strengthen the bonds between people, to like you name it, and this is a, going to be a key technology. I feel, I, what I caught is that this is the key technology we are stepping into on this planet as we evolve into the next phase we're stepping into being co-creators not just you know going through life and what is dealing with what happens and hoping f that good things happen and you know wishing sorry about that technical difficulties um we're coming to an age where we are going to be co-creating where we are actually co-creating reality instead of just being at the whim of whatever's coming and wishing and hoping and um, we're taking that power back and this is a key technology for doing that so I'm very excited to be fine-tuning this technology to what I feel is the best possible version of it and what's getting the greatest results so at some point I'll be sharing this in a master class that I'm, I've been developing for some time that I'm very excited about. But for now, I'm just going to participate in, in more of Lynn McTaggart's and learn more of what's the cutting edge, the right-to-the-minute studies and proofs of what's possible with the power of intention. So I'm very excited to be sharing that with you. So that's going to be my chat for today. And I will talk to you again tomorrow. I hope that in your day today you can use the power of positive intention and positive emotion, elevated emotion, to draw more to yourself of the things that you wish for in your life and in the world. And that's certainly what I'm going to be doing. So together we can change it. We can change it all. I, I will... Talk to you then again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Blessed be.